What is up, you sexy beasts? I hope you are fantastically well. Thank you for tuning into the channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Veiki. Um, I am passionate about video and photo, and I'm here to teach you how to do a better job at it, especially in the fitness space. I also get to hang out with some pretty cool athletes and do a few vlogs as well. So uh, if you enjoy the content, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. I'm trying to get this channel to a thousand subs by the end of the month. I think we're around 650 at the moment. So I would really appreciate that. Today we're going to look at the very much requested stop motion effect that not only myself but a bunch of other photographers and videographers in the space are using. I got inspired to use this effect by my buddy Dave at Training Day Media. His content is insane and so I really encourage you to go and check him out. I'll link his Instagram account below but it's Training Day Media. So thank you Dave for, be, for being inspirational. So let's get into a team. Um, so how do you take these photos? Ideally you want to look for some pretty explosive, fast paced and also big moving kind of uh, opportunities. So if someone's like sprinting across the finish line at a comp or doing a muscle up or you know going hard on the air bike, something that's pretty dynamic is what you're looking for. So you want to put your camera obviously on a pretty high shutter speed because the movement will be pretty fast and put it on burst mode. So the way I do this, and I'm sure there's more ways to do this, but I like to do it by using photos. So like 30 photos and stitching them together to create a video. Okay, so that's the way I prefer to do them. So you literally just, uh, you know, once you're on burst mode and that athlete's coming um, across the finish line or, you know, doing their movement, I'm literally just going and just shooting a whole bunch of photos, just putting my finger down and not stopping the photos until um, that kind of movement is complete. If you have no idea what I'm talking about here, here's some examples of these stop motion kind of video clips. So a really cool way to present a bunch of photos, um, really unique and just eye-catching. So for today's example, I've got some photos here of Jamie Green doing a bar muscle up at the Dubai Fitness Champs this year. I've got 30 photos here, so this should work really well. And what will make this even better is that one round of this workout, I was taking a wider shot. And then in the next round, I actually took a tighter shot. So I've actually got two different sequences of photos here that I can work together to create an even better photos. So for this example today, we're actually gonna use two lots of photos bring them together so um, the sequence will go from a wider shot into a tighter shot to finish, which will look really, really cool. So we're gonna throw all these photos into Lightroom or whatever uh, photo editing software you use. I'm gonna go ahead and develop uh, one of these photos. And just to save time, I'm gonna use a preset from one of my favorite creators on YouTube called Matty Hapoya. He does some great tutorials on video and photo, more so video, um, so I'll link his account below as well. But one of his presets here, it's called Blue and Yellow, and I'm really liking that at the moment. So I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna also crop this photo to a four x five. That is basically the largest photo, the largest rectangular photo that Instagram will, will take and display. And when you post things on Instagram, whether it's photo or video, I'm a big fan of taking up as much real estate as the app will allow me. So four x five is gonna be great. So I'll crop that. And I'll also just add a bit of a vignette around Jamie here. So just darkening the outsides of the, uh, of the photo. So we'll go ahead and do that. Cool, and again, instead of editing every single photo, because they were all shot at the same time in the same lighting conditions, I'm gonna go ahead and just copy um, that edit. Then I'll select all the photos and I'll just hit the sync button down here to kind of sync all the settings. So now Lightroom will just go ahead and edit all those photos to look the same. So now all the photos are edited, I'm gonna go ahead and export them to a folder on my desktop. I'll import the other set of photos I spoke about, the tighter ones, I'll do the same. And I'll take all those photos and drag them into Final Cut, which I'll show you now. Hurry up. Just gotta love the old exporting time, eh? Girl, you got that yummy, 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 yummy. Nah, take your time, eh? I love sitting here, just waiting, it's good. While we're waiting for the export, them lights though, right? Even if I have to say them myself, you know, pretty cool. Okay, so all the photos are exported. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro. And again, I'm gonna make sure that the project I'm creating here is at four by five size. So within, within Final Cut, I'll go custom size and I'll make this 1080 by 1350. That's gonna be the equivalent of, um, of a four by five. So you can see there, that's that Instagram size. I'm gonna drag all the photos into Final Cut. I've got those two sequences. That's the first lot of photos and also drag in the close-ups I was talking about. 
So now that I have all the photos within Final Cut, because I have the two separate sequences, I want to take away some of the photos in the first sequence. So essentially we want to cut to the close-ups uh, when Jamie's here with the hips coming towards the bar. So I'll just find the photos in the wider sequence up until that point. So about there, and I'm gonna delete everything past that point. While I was getting rid of some of those photos in the wider sequence, I realized I actually had two muscle ups in there, so I cut away one whole muscle up. So there's a whole lot less frames now, there's about half the frames in the wide shot. So let's play this back and we'll see what it looks like. Now you'll notice it's just way too slow. It's about four seconds per frame, I think uh, the default is for Final Cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the duration of each frame. I'm gonna highlight all the clips, right click, hit change duration, and this hit the number four. So it's gonna be about 40% of a second. So I think that's two fifths of a second. Yeah, is that good math? So uh, if I play now, that's starting to look a lot better. And you can see how great that looks, changing from the wider shot to the tighter shot. Now obviously we don't wanna finish on a uh, photo where she's coming back down. We wanna finish on the kind of the press out, so that one there. One thing I like to do is make that final frame longer than the others. So essentially you get that payoff where it's going bang, 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 and then it pauses a bit longer on that final frame before it loops back around on Instagram. Instagram will just autoplay the video, so we'll just keep looping around and around. So if you make that, um, that last frame a bit longer, we'll now see that muscle up coming up, the payoff at the end, bang, and then it will loop again. So you can also do this within, if you've got more photos, let's say you've got 30 photos, it's a bit of a longer sequence. You can have a, a couple of pauses. You can have a pause halfway through the sprint over the line and then another um, pause at the end where they've got the arms up celebrating. So you can play around with the lengths of the clip and just varying them to keep it interesting. Something else I've done in the past is actually change the edit on that final kind of payoff frame. To do a slightly more exposed or more saturated shot or maybe add a completely different um, edit to it. So again, there's more emphasis on that final part of the movement. So I'll go ahead and export this as a video now and I'll drop it to my phone and we'll see what the final product looks like. And here's what we've got. If I'm to upload this to Instagram, which I've already done in the past, so I won't do it again. That is what it will look like. And that is it team. I hope that was helpful. I wanna see what you create. Go ahead and get your on and uh, maybe don't do that to your camera. It's probably not good for it to shake it like that. Just keep it steady and just put your finger down and hold it down. That's, that's probably the more accurate way. Um, but I wanna see your creations, so please go ahead and tag me in it. Again, go and check out Dave's uh, page, Training Day Media. You'll be inspired for sure. Maybe go and check out Matty Hapoya as well on YouTube, I'll link that below. Maybe go and purchase his uh, preset pack, it is amazing. Any other questions on this, please pop in the comments or any other videos you wanna see me create. Other than that, stay sexy and I will see you very soon. Bye.